Welcome to this presentation by Lovely Professional University, Punjab, India. Today we explore one of the most pressing environmental challenges of our time, the impact of textile dyeing on freshwater quality. Join us as we uncover the hidden costs behind the vibrant colors of our clothing. The textile industry, a cornerstone of global fashion and economic growth, has a dark secret. Behind every vibrant fabric lies a trail of environmental destruction. The textile dyeing sector is the second largest contributor to water pollution worldwide, responsible for approximately 20% of global industrial water pollution. Each year, the textile industry uses 1.3 trillion gallons of water, enough to fill 2 million Olympic-sized swimming pools. But the real tragedy begins when this water, now laden with toxic chemicals and dyes, is discharged untreated into our rivers and streams. Understanding the scale of the problem requires examining the dyeing process itself. Textile wet processing consumes 60 to 90 percent of total water used in textile production. On average, 164 liters of water are required to process just one kilogram of textile material. In extreme cases, dyeing deep colors can consume up to 285 liters per kilogram. A single ton of dyed fabric generates 200 tons of wastewater, often filled with hazardous substances. China, India, and Bangladesh combined discharge around 3.5 billion tons of textile wastewater each year. Alarmingly, up to 80% of dye-containing industrial wastewaters in low- and middle-income countries are released untreated directly into waterways. What makes textile wastewater so dangerous? The answer lies in its chemical composition. The textile industry employs approximately 10,000 different dyes and 8,000 synthetic chemicals to bleach, treat, and brighten our clothes. Ozo dyes account for 60 to 70 percent of all dyes used globally. These compounds are toxic, potentially carcinogenic, and release aromatic amines, classified carcinogens that pose serious health risks. When ozo dyes break down, they can increase cancer risk and act as endocrine disruptors. Heavy metals compound the problem. Chromium-66, lead, mercury, cadmium, and arsenic are commonly used in dye fixation and mordanting processes. These persistent pollutants accumulate in the environment for years, causing compounded harm to ecosystems and human health. Chromium concentrations in some textile samples have been found at levels nearly 1,000 times higher than safe limits. The consequences for freshwater ecosystems are catastrophic. When textile dyes enter water bodies, they create multiple layers of destruction. First, the intense coloration prevents sunlight penetration, disrupting photosynthesis in aquatic plants, the foundation of the entire aquatic food web. This leads to eutrophication and oxygen depletion. The degradation of just 7 to 8 milligrams of organic matter by microorganisms can consume all the oxygen in one liter of water. Second, textile wastewater dramatically increases biochemical oxygen demand, or chemical oxygen demand, or KOD, in water bodies. These elevated levels suffocate aquatic life, causing fish kills and biodiversity loss. Third, the toxic compounds directly poison aquatic organisms. Research shows that textile dye effluents disrupt the growth, development, and reproductive capabilities of various aquatic species. The effects cascade through the food chain, causing developmental abnormalities, behavioral changes, and inducing oxidative stress in fish, invertebrates, and aquatic plants.
human populations bear the ultimate burden of this pollution. Textile wastewater contamination of 70% of surface water in some textile manufacturing regions means millions of people lack access to clean water. Humans are exposed to textile dyes through two primary pathways, drinking contaminated water and consuming food from the contaminated food chain. In Bangladesh alone, 1,500 billion liters of water are used annually in garment factories, depleting groundwater and forcing communities to use polluted sources. Once inside the human body, textile dyes are biotransformed by cytochrome enzymes into electrophilic intermediates and aromatic amines. These compounds form DNA and protein adducts at the cellular level catalyze free radical production and trigger oxidative stress and apoptotic cascades, producing lesions in multiple organs. Health effects include skin rashes, respiratory issues, headaches, nausea, allergies, dermatitis, and, most alarmingly, increased cancer risk. Studies have documented carcinogenic, mutagenic, and genotoxic effects. Textile dyes also modulate epigenetic factors like DNA methyltransferase and histone deacetylase, potentially promoting carcinogenesis. Certain regions face particularly severe impacts. In Bangladesh, the textile industry produced 217 million cubic meters of wastewater in 2016, with projections reaching 349 million cubic meters by 2021. India's Tirupur, known as the country's knitwear capital, has historically released untreated dyeing waste into the Noyal River, damaging agricultural land and contaminating groundwater with fluoride and other chemicals. In Faisalabad, Pakistan's largest textile area, factories discharge effluent into the Chenab River, with studies showing high pH levels, low dissolved oxygen, and unsafe amounts of chromium and copper in water, soil, and plants. Studies in Bangladesh have found PFAS and heavy metal concentrations in water bodies at levels hundreds to thousands of times above safe limits. Reactive dye containing effluents from textile industries contribute to nearly 17 to 20 percent of global water pollution. Hope exists through innovation and regulation. Emerging solutions include supercritical CO2 dyeing, a waterless technology that uses carbon dioxide instead of water, eliminating wastewater entirely. Companies like Daiku report saving 32 million liters of water per machine annually. Advanced wastewater treatment systems using membrane bioreactors, or MBBRs, nanofiltration, and reverse osmosis can remove up to 90% of chemical oxygen demand. Natural dyes from renewable sources offer biodegradable alternatives, though challenges remain in scalability. Most critically, stricter enforcement of environmental regulations and investment in treatment infrastructure are essential to protect our precious freshwater resources. The impact of textile dyeing on freshwater quality demands immediate action. Through awareness, innovation, and accountability, we can ensure that the colors we wear don't drain the lifeblood of our planet. Thank you.